God lives and works today. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Therefore, what He revealed to His people through Moses many years ago still applies. He is a holy, jealous God. What does this mean for us? Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink will explain this. Whom are we really serving? To whom or to what do we give the honor in our lives? To God or to our idols? We can only serve one master. People have a habit of being blind and deceiving themselves so often on this point. We can believe in God and yet let so many other things actually rule our lives, occupy our thoughts, and take up our time. The Bible tells us that God is a jealous God, that He does not tolerate any other love, no one and nothing, beside Himself. That is because His love yearns for us. It longs for our whole dedication and our whole undivided love. Today we must make a radical move to throw out all the idols in our lives. But do we discover what they are? Let us ask ourselves one thing. What is important to us? What would be very difficult for us to lose if God were to take it away from us? Whether it be a person, a job, a pleasure, or a possession. This is what our heart is bound to. This is our idol. Whoever loves God will not be afraid to destroy his idols. According to Jesus' words, he will pluck out his eye. He will take the first step wherever he feels a bondage in his life that separates him from God. When we reach the end of our own strength, then a door opens that makes all things possible. Faith. The more we fall down, the more we must call upon him, Jesus, who can change our unwillingness into willingness. He alone can break our chains through the power of His redemption if we only call upon Him. Everyone who fights such a battle of faith and does not give up will become free. Jesus will give us the strength to smash our idols. With Jesus we cannot do otherwise than give God what He requires and deserves, our first love. Otherwise, we would waste it in a wrong manner through bondages to people or things. With Jesus, it is possible to give God the first right to our time, money, and possessions, to everything that makes life worth living. God is waiting for us today to turn away from our idols and to turn to Him alone, the holy, loving, and jealous God. He is yearning for our love. But more than that, he is yearning for souls who are on fire with love, who will spend themselves for His honor, so that others who disdain His love may come to love Him above everything else. He is waiting for people who will be zealous, not in judging others, but in offering their lives as a sacrifice, who will burn with such fervent love for Jesus that the whole world will be set aflame. This is His call to us. He is waiting for you. You shall be first, for this I thirst. Jesus, my dearest treasure, my joy and bliss beyond measure. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K A N A A N.org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.